Hello everybody, this is Sherlock Nelson from Into the Gaming and welcome to a modification for the video game Hatred. I've already made a review of this game, but there is a new modification called Mass Murderer, a FPS mode. It's basically the entire game played in the first person view. Ooh, it's quite something. Uh, I'm just a little disclaimer. I don't condone violence in real life, this is just a video game. I don't want to cause any controversy or anything like that. I'm just going to play this modification to see how it is. A short little video, 10 minutes, more or less. We're gonna see how it works out. It's a... Uh, the game is... It's basically the game in first person, from what I understand. It's going to work out well, hopefully. I was not the biggest fan of this game when it first came out. It's enjoyable, let's be honest. It's... Yeah, you go around killing people. It's not as bad as everyone made it out to be from the first trailers that came out. And it works relatively fine, it's kind of an improved version of the original Postal. It does have some pros, it does have some cons, it looks fine. It's kind of stupid as a game and it has a horrible My story. Skip... Uh, what is oh... Is what I'm going to do. Hide anywhere you can. Run away. Run away. Well, aside from the arm that looks incredibly weird, this actually isn't half bad. The game does look pretty decent in first person, I'm surprised. Can I use the car? No. So let's start playing the game. If there is one thing that I always thought this... Oof, that I always thought this game did very well was the all destruction. The destruction is very well done, from the windows shattering to everything blowing up. Uh, Holy moly. Mm. Yeah, it becomes so way too personal playing it in first person. It becomes more brutal. It really does. And also to like that there isn't a constant minimap. Okay. 43 people to kill. Yeah, those arms look really damn bad. They really do. They sure could improve that the creator of the mod. If they can, actually, I don't even know if it's possible. This is already better than expected, to be honest. Boom. That's slow mo. Ooh. See things go boom. That's a bad, bad camera placement. There. See, there should be the party somewhere around here that you can destroy. So yeah, I have to say it controls fairly well. I mean, I was expecting something a little bit more rough around the edges. This is actually relatively. What the? Oh well. This is actually relatively well done. Props to the creator. If you're watching this. You did a really good job. No! Yeah, this level works pretty well. Let's try. Let's change level. And this isn't really also a modification in itself. It's actually a map pack, which is interesting. It's an interesting choice. Maybe they were forced to do this. Mm, train, train station downtown. Let's try. Let's try downtown. I'm always going on easy because this is not an easy game. I have to say, it's actually fairly hard. It's very challenging. And that I do appreciate quite a lot. 
But yeah, so far I have to say this game, if you've already seen my review from a year ago, uh, it's it's a game. It uh, wants to be controversial by having you kill innocent civilians in the first levels of the game. Well, actually in the entire game you kill innocent people. But I'm, it's hokey, it's very cheesy from story point. It's, I mean, it's a stupid ass game. And though in, after some events like the Orlando shooting that we had recently, it feels pretty weird to be playing something like this. That condones and Good appreciates morning. violence. Like an election rally today. Oh yeah, the election I rally. Fucking hate I'm politics. More crime. than that. No. I hate Let's politicians. Talk. Oh yeah, you have the flamethrower here. That's it, the guy. What's he doing? Woohoo! Gaming is a bit off, I have to say. It's very off. Let's try riding, driving, not riding. Is it gonna have first person driving? Oh. Well, not bad. The first the game originally had uh, isometric uh, driving, so yeah, it's not bad. Digging this. Oh, you can also move the camera, nice. It still controls like shit. They, it seems like they actually have better aim compared to the... Ah, uh, the execution looked horrible. This is actually way harder than the original. And we are playing on easy. And the flashlight is a bit aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. Execution! Give me an execution. Whew! Damn. Run over the pedestrians here. Yeah. Weapons exhibition. Hmm. Ah. The frame rate is shitting itself. This I have. To, this is. It's impossible. To, they actually have tweaked the, the damage or something because this was way harder than I remembered. But still, this is the mass murderer FPS mode for hatred. It's free. It's available on the Steam Workshop for the game. If you want to try it out, sure do it. I did not make it because before someone says that I did not make it. I'm giving all the credits to the creator. The Comment is in the description below. So go check it out if you're interested and tell me what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.